Hello guys and welcome back to a new day on this channel, I'm Sabi from Code Revolution. So let me show you today a comparison between the URL to RSS plugin and the RSS app service. So both do the same thing, they will create custom RSS feeds for any site for you guys to use. However, the difference is between their pricing and their limitations. So let me show you right now the main difference. So URL to RSS plugin is a one-time payment and also it will allow you to create unlimited RSS feeds in its settings so you will benefit of it without limits. However, the RSS app will have these limitations. So you currently have a subscription model which you will have to pay monthly for for example eight dollars you will get 15 rss feeds limited to 15. for 16 dollars you will get 100 and for 83 you will get 500. however in the url to rss after this one-time payment you will not have any other charges and you can create unlimited RSS feeds. So if you want to create more than 500, no problem, go ahead and create more than 500 with just $39 one-time payment compared with $83 per month for 500 on RSS app. So let me show you both in, uh, for example, and let me show you how they work. So let's create an RSS app here. So let's remove this one because in this plan I'm limited to only two feeds. So let's create a new feed, add the keyword here and generate. So the usage of RSS app is simple. However, the limitation of only two RSS feeds is pretty, pretty hardcore, especially if you want to use the many, many RSS feeds. So let's copy the created feed, check it, and here it is. It has a link, title, so they add only title, link, and Guido. This is an ID of the news. So let me show you how this works also in URL to RSS plugin. I have it installed here, and let me set up a new scraping for the same uh, site I used. So let's scrape Sunny. I already have it working, but I will also show you in action. So you can set the maximum number of items, any number of item you wish. The plugin will make it work for you. So here you are limited to five, as you can see, but Sunny here has more articles. So if you want, I can set it to seven or even a greater number. I can add a name example sunny and now click settings go down almost to the bottom check the do not scrape start url use the visual selector to highlight the post on the website you entered in the url section from here so loading can take a bit here but stay with it and now all you have to do is highlight and click uh, an example post and now let's go to an example post here on Sony and you will see what we should be grabbing. So click inspect and you will see that the content that we highlight is the one that you should be grabbing. So let's copy this class and add here in the content query type class and paste the class that you entered. This could be also be done with visual selector, but I showed you the visual selector method here. And here I will show you the class method because these are two methods which both can be used. Now, all we have to do is save settings. And as you can see, here it is. We can run this rule now and the plugin will go ahead and start scraping and will create our RSS feed. So it says that is not generated yet. Please run importing manually or wait for the schedule to process. After we have here a green tick, we will be able to refresh this page and we will get our new RSS feed URL listed here as it is listed here. So we should be waiting a bit here because we set the 
maximum feed item count higher than it is on RSS app and the plugin now scrapes seven articles and adds them all to the RSS feed. So we have here our checkbox. Let's refresh the page and let's check the feed URL. So we can see that we have a full content. So the RSS content is fully included. We have also a small description, link, title, media. Also a uh, image is added to the media. So we can check the image here and also publication date. So the feed created by the URL to RSS plugin is much more richer than the one which was created by RSS app. So yeah, keep in mind guys, these are the limitations of RSS app and this is why the URL to RSS plugin is much better than RSS app. You will have cheaper and much more, many more features in it and much more flexibility and you will be able to do whatever you wish in this plugin. So if you have more questions, let me know in the comments of this video. Until next time, subscribe to this channel if you enjoy this content. Bye-bye.